2024 is gearing up to be a banner year for binge watching. We're talking post-apocalyptic wastelands, scandalous historic romances, fire-breathing dragons, the works. From the creators of beloved video games to the masterminds behind surprise hits, the small screen is about to explode with fresh stories and unexpected twists. So let's cut the small talk and get right into it. Here's my rundown of the hottest upcoming shows you won't be able to resist. Post-Apocalyptic Madness The countdown is on for the Fallout TV show, promising to bring the gritty, irradiated world of the beloved games to life. It's a collaboration between Amazon and Bethesda, crafted to satisfy diehard fans and newcomers alike. We follow Lucy, a vault dweller, venturing for the first time into the devastated ruins of Los Angeles. She's not just sightseeing, there's a family mystery at the heart of her journey. Trailers hint at a wild ride filled with iconic wasteland imagery, mutated creatures, eccentric survivors, and shadowy factions like the Brotherhood of Steel. Fans of The Last of Us take note. Fallout delivers a similar brand of post-apocalyptic survival, where danger lurks in every bombed-out corner. But this show also inherits the franchise's signature dark humor and a touch of retro-futuristic weirdness. The story centers around vaults, those experimental fallout shelters designed to preserve humanity. Lucy grew up in Vault 33, but her quest to find her father Hank pulls her into the harsh reality of the wasteland. Life above ground is lawless and unpredictable. She'll face deadly creatures, cunning bandits, and a mysterious 200-year-old ghoul with secrets about this broken world. This show takes place over 200 years after the nuclear war in a landscape transformed by radiation. Expect both familiar fallout sights and strange new corners of this ravaged LA. We'll glimpse life within the vault, likely exploring some of the twisted social experiments that have become a series trademark. Now don't confuse this with Fallout 5. While the world and lore remain the same, this is a standalone story crafted by the minds behind some of Christopher Nolan's best films. Rest assured, Bethesda is involved to make sure the spirit of the games shines through. Not your mother's period piece. Bridgerton Season 3 promises to deliver even more of the lavish costumes, simmering passions, and sharp-tongued observations that made us fall in love with the show. This is no ordinary Regency romance. Bridgerton has become a true phenomenon, shattering records and captivating audiences with its vibrant characters and refreshingly diverse take on the genre. And now, after what feels like an eternity, the wait is almost over. While we still await a full trailer, Netflix has been generous with teasers. Footage hints at stolen glances, secret desires, and the undeniable tension between Penelope and Colin. The most remarkable shade of blue. And yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. Their journey promises to be a complex one. Friends torn apart by overheard words and a longing neither can fully admit. This season breaks tradition, skipping ahead in the book series to focus on the fourth Bridgerton novel. Penelope, long resigned to her wallflower status, is taking charge of her destiny. She's determined to find a husband, seeking independence to continue her secret life as Lady Whistledown. Yet, despite her best efforts, the marriage mart proves anything but simple. Meanwhile, Colin returns from his travels a changed man, longing to mend his friendship with Penelope. He offers guidance in the ways of confidence, but as his lessons prove too effective, he'll face a reckoning. Are his feelings more than friendship? Further complicating matters is Penelope's strained relationship with Eloise, whose own path has taken an unexpected turn. The first script excerpt promises a return to Lady Whistledown's signature wit, with sly observations on the debutantes and the ever-changing rumor mill. This season seems poised to explore the hidden lives of these so-called wallflowers, the complex characters often underestimated within the glittering world of the ton. Shonda Rhimes herself assures us that this season will deliver, teasing that we're already invested in this love story. We know these characters, making their journey that much more bittersweet. This, my friends, is a season for the underdogs, where secrets simmer beneath the surface of elegant balls and breathtaking gowns. Dragons and Dark Intrigue The wait is almost over. House of the Dragon, the fiery prequel to Game of Thrones, reignites this summer. Season 1 left us reeling, with a young princess shocking death reverberating throughout the realm. This is a family torn apart, with a promise of vengeance etched upon Rhaenyra's face. The recent teaser hints at the devastation to come. Rhaenyra stands defiant against the backdrop of a stormy sea, 
acknowledging the mistakes that ignited this war. Rival kings assemble armies, dragons soar, and glimpses of brutal battles flash across the screen. Even amongst allies, betrayal is a constant threat, as whispers of casualties fill the air. This war is not merely fought with swords, but with the unmatched power of dragons. Shots of fire-breathing beasts clashing in the sky tell us this conflict will be even more spectacular, more brutal than anything we witnessed in the original series. Season 2 promises the return of key figures from the first, devious advisors, fierce warriors, and those young princes and princesses caught in the crossfire. But fresh faces join the fray, new alliances forge as the struggle for the Iron Throne reaches its fever pitch. One name echoes throughout Westeros, Stark, reminding us that even distant houses will be swept into this tide of violence. While slightly shorter than the first, this season promises to be no less intense. Every episode, a maelstrom of ambition, bloodshed, and the terrifying spectacle of dragons unleashed. It's the explosive saga of a dynasty consumed by its own flames. Superheroes and Super Weirdness The world of superheroes and villains is never dull. Think back to the shows that truly captured our imaginations. They were about more than just superpowers. They reveled in the dark undercurrents, the flawed people beneath the gleaming suits, and the sheer absurdity of it all. Let's talk about the Umbrella Academy. This dysfunctional family returns for a final, mind-bending adventure. Over the seasons, we've seen them face some rogue time agents, ghostly assassins, and multiple attempts to avert the apocalypse. The true heart of the show lies in its characters, each sibling uniquely damaged and struggling in the shadow of their upbringing. The end is near, but what will their legacy be? Saving the world, or possibly, this time, destroying it beyond all repair. On the other side of the spectrum is The Boys, a blood-soaked, cynical look at the superhero myth. Here, the heroes are egomaniacal, corrupt, and more dangerous than the threats they're supposed to fight. It's gloriously messy, with outrageous violence pushed to its comic book extreme. This isn't about bright ideals, it asks what happens when superpowers fall into the hands of those driven by greed and a lust for fame. Things are only gonna get crazier, See, superhero stories work best when they're a little bit strange, a healthy dose of bizarre mixed in with the action. That's the magic that sets them apart, and both these shows understand that on a fundamental level. Spine-tingling thrills For those drawn to unsettling tales and chilling atmosphere, this segment is for you. Prepare for a double dose of spine-tingling entertainment, because two of the most intriguing stories are getting another chapter. First, the global phenomenon that was Squid Game returns for round two. The first season was a visceral shock, desperate people playing deadly children's games, all under the watchful eyes of masked overlords. The question hangs heavy, what depraved spectacle awaits in season two? The stakes will be raised, the desperation more intense, and the cruelty likely even more ingenious. Next, we venture into the realm of alien terrors. The Alien franchise is a horror classic, and this new series takes us back to where it all began. The claustrophobic dread, the unseen horrors lurking in the shadows, it promises a visceral return to the terror that made the original film so iconic. But perhaps the most chilling monster of all is the one within us. Wednesday, everyone's favorite macabre teen is back for more. The first season saw her unravel mysteries at her peculiar boarding school, Nevermore Academy. Season 2 promises an equally dark and twisted ride, as Wednesday sharpens her wit, her investigative skills, and perhaps even manages a flicker of warmth beneath her icy exterior. These shows tap into something primal, the fascination with darkness, the thrill of the unknown, and the unsettling feeling that something monstrous may be closer than we think. 